What is going on, my Super Saiyan? Which is Ram Saiyan. Today I'm bringing something very different. Hunter Hunter in a format of Dokkan Battle, except for it's an all complete in Japanese. Uh, basically, if you've been playing these freaking anime mobile games for the past uh, couple weeks, I've discovered there's a bunch of them actually. You have Bleach, Bleach Brave Souls, you have uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise, you have uh, Dokkan Battle for Dragon Ball Z, and you have Hunter Hunter Battle All Stars. Which, it's funny, I was literally writing an email to Bandai Namco the other day saying, Hey, why don't you do Hunter Hunter in the same format as Dokkan Battle? It could be a lot of fun, the characters are very more memorable. And then I realized it already exists. Uh, and by setting up a Japanese account, which if you want to figure out how to set up a Japanese account on your iPhone, uh, in the description below I have a link to Jantastic's video which shows you how to do it. So go over there, watch that, and join me on the fun. But this is by far the most fun. I had out of all these anime games, uh, and that one ones I have not played yet are the Tokyo Ghoul one, which I'm not a big fan of Tokyo Ghoul, but if you like Tokyo Ghoul, you can play that as well. Um, but this is by far the most fun I played. So what I noticed is, is with all these games, they have the exact same setup essentially. You know, you get your um, menu for, uh, for the missions and stuff like that. You have your team, which you can set up. As you can see right now, my current team is set up to be uh, with, I have uh, Gon Kilua, I have Silva, and now Kurapika. And then, uh, you have, of course, the, the summon aspect of, of it, it's literally the same thing. You summon, you collect, you grind, you, you play. And it strangely works really, really well. Now, what I noticed is all the other games, they have different kind of format in how the game works. So, for example, Bleach Brave Souls, it's a hack and slash. You, uh, you, collect, the you collect your team, you uh, collect characters, rare characters, stuff like that. You grind them out, you get them stronger, and then you do a hack and slash style mini game to get you know better and stuff like that. Well, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, is, let me, do my, let me fix my hair while I'm doing this. Um, Dragon Ball Z is more of a turn-based game, kind of like Pokemon, where you just attack a character back and forth, you kind of just watch the characters clash. And um, Battle All-Stars is more of a tower defense, meaning you click on your character and you click on enemies and then you kind of watch them fight. And for some reason, I don't know because I'm a big fan of Hunter x Hunter, but this to me has been a lot more fun uh, out of all the games so far, and I wanted to play more uh, of this on my channel. Now, before I continue, I have a question, kind of a, a supporting I want to toss out there. So I got in contact with Bandai Namco about localizing this, and they said uh, they will look into it. Now this most likely means, probably no, but uh, I would love to show some support. So if you think you will play the English version of Hunter x Hunter Battle All-Stars, comment below or leave a like right below or something. That way I can take this video and give it to them, like, look, there's a community of people that would love to play this game. Because uh, to them it will cost literally no money to produce, all they have to basically do is translate and put it out like with Dokkan Battle, and then we'll have another one of these anime games to play uh, with and l level up and grind and just have a good time with. So, again, if you think this is something you want to play, comment below, say hell yeah or something, I don't know, or like the video. Because I'm just going to send him this video in a couple of days and see uh, if he gets enough feedback, of course. I'm just going to send him this video and be like, hey look, there's a community of people that want this, so what can we do? So, maybe we can, we can get enough force behind uh, the Western audience, because it's only available in Japan, to get this game to come out. But the first thing that I'm going to show you is the basics to the Japanese version in case you do want to play this and uh, obviously you don't speak Japanese. So uh, the first one is that's the main menu. This is basically where you play um, all the missions. This is my current team. Uh, if I click the blue one, that is my regular missions. This is kind of like a story mode where I can basically go through the story of Hunter x Hunter. I assume, I can't speak Japanese, so I don't know if it's like a spin-off or similar to the, to the actual story or what, but it's some kind of story mode format. If I go back, if we go over here, I actually kind of already forgot what all these kind of are. I have no idea what this is. I think this is kind of like a quest thing. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried this one yet, but I know if I go over to... Uh, yeah, this is the tower. This is a cool into the Dokkan Battle Tournament. It's, it's the same setup too. You can basically level up. If I click on this, I can see all the rewards and stuff like that. As you can see... Oh, wait, that's actually the, the ranking right there. If I click this one, I think it's rewards. Which one is his rewards? I think... Wait, hold on. Let me go back. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Uh... uh I have no idea what to say. The, the screen is a little bit different from your. Oh, there's a rewards. So that shows you like if you rank up uh, or if you win certain things and what you get. Basically, just like Dokkan Battle. Going back. Let's go all the way back. All the way back. Um, all the way back. We go over. I believe this is a menu. No, actually, I have no clue what this is either. Because uh, if I click, nothing happens uh, or nothing works. Uh, I think this one's. Yeah, this is the menu. And this one you can basically change all your settings and stuff like that. As far as what everything does, just click into it and you can see. Obviously, this is the sound and stuff like that. Uh, but play around with it. But really the most important ones, let's go all the way back, come on, go all the way back. The really most important ones are, if I go to this, it is the blue one, which is the story mode. And then I believe, was it the red one? Yeah, the red one is kind of like the side missions, and these also get a lot more tougher as well. Oh, it says versus, I don't know what that means, but uh, these are the only two ones I was able to play. Now, uh, with characters, you can go over here, 
and set up your team. And the way it works is you have one leader and then you have, actually have two leaders essentially. Well, the leader has like the main ability, which I don't know what the abilities are because I can't read Japanese, but whoever is your main team is going to affect uh, point distribution and stuff like that, just like with your main leader on Dokkan Battle. Your second character, which will be in this slot right here, is going to be, as you can see if I go back, as your attacker, and basically when I'm playing the game, he's going to be on my side in the field as well. Now, the other slots are all support characters, and uh, I'll explain support characters actually uh, when I get into the actual gameplay, but basically, uh, you got going up here is my leader, a second player right here, and then Kilua and Kurapika are uh, support, and then a the third character can be support as well, which I think I can add. No, I can't. I'm over my limit. Uh, actually, let's go into the story mode real fast. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the story mode exactly right now to show you what I mean by what a support character does. So we're going to jump into this one, go in there, and then it's going to explain a little story. Actually, you can add a character. Let's do... We got... We got uh, ooh, let's add Kilua's grandpa, because I haven't played with him yet. Oh, actually, that's... that's, that's no, we're going to add Jig. So, right before I go into mission, you confirm her here, and as you can see, right now, my setup is uh, Gon and uh, Silva are my main characters, and I got uh, Kilua and Karapika as a support. And of course, I got the, the friend, just like in Dokkan Battle, hopping in as well. So now, when I start the gameplay by hitting this button right here, it's going to do a little story mode real fast, text that I can't read, unfortunately, and I'm really hoping that this gets... Uh, listen to that music, by the way. Ooh! The music is what hooked me into this game, it's so good. But as you can see, if I do this, well, actually, let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's do it on slow mode, actually. You see, as I switch, you can swap out. That's what I mean by support. So they're still playable characters, but, like, while they're s switched out, the characters heal. So if you're, like, basically damaged, switch out and just kind of let them do all the work. Now, what I like to do is I double speed and not do auto. And what I do now is I like the computer to take over, basically, and they attack the nearest opponent uh, next to me. And I like to keep my eye open on uh, the characters. So if I see Gon is hurt, I will swap him out with... Lua. If I see Silva is hurt, I'll swap out Kurapika. So essentially, I let the computer play, even though you can play as well if you want to control your own character. But it gets kind of, uh, uh, it can get, it can get kind of complicated seeing everything on the screen at once. But basically, what I do is I keep an eye open, and as they get hurt, oh, it's an item. Oh, I missed out item. As they get hurt, I'll swap them out, and then again, once they're swapped out, they they tend to heal up and all that good stuff. Uh, now, here's a cool thing. Ready for this? Let's see if I can do a attack. I can't yet. Let's actually swap out Kurapika because he's really really weak. So. Every map is split into several parts, uh, with the final part being a boss fight, kind of like with Brave Souls. And you basically fight everything until you die, and then you go to the next map, and then when you get to the end, you fight a boss. And the cool thing about this game is, you can see, Gon is flashing right now, and that's because he is ready to do a ultimate attack. If I tap the button, it's flashing, he'll do a special attack, but the cool thing is, you can actually team up with your friend, and if, uh, if your friend, it's not just your friend, I'm talking about any character on the screen, if they uh, are ready to do an ultimate attack too, you can actually team up and do like a team attack, and do a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and save that for the boss in a second. I'll show you once we get to that. Uh, again, if you want to download this, uh, Jaden Tastic's video is in the description below, which shows you how to get it and all that good stuff. Uh, it's free, so don't worry about paying. It's available for both Android and iOS. So let's go ahead and do this. Do an attack. There we go. There we go. So now I would do another attack with uh, Jing or Korapika or whatever, but I have uh, no energy, so we can only do uh, go ones. But there we go. Deliver a quarter of damage, and we win. Look at that. We won. Mission clear. And just like with uh, Dokkan, when you complete missions, if you complete a set of missions, you get like a dragon stone. I don't know what the equivalent here is because I can't read Japanese, but it's that little blue thing you see in the top right of the corner, the under the 36,000 uh, sign, which the 36,000 is the money. Uh, you, you level up, it's just like Dokkan Battle. It's down to the T like Dokkan Battle. The only difference is instead of doing like the turn based fighting like in Dokkan, you uh, have the tower defense style missions, which are a lot more fun. And of course, you get your items. Oh, I leveled up, nice. Or ranked up, actually. And uh, those little robots, they're basically like training stuff. I can use that to level up my characters. Just like in Dokkan Battle, you can actually, I'll show you. Just like in Dokkan Battle, you can level up your character by sacrificing cards. So we'll do that by going down here in the character screen. We click this one, I believe. Click on Gon. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll sacrifice. Uh, as you can see, I have a little icon next to Gon, like a little sword. That means physical damage. Kalua has a little target, which means he is, or this Kalua uh, specifically, is a uh, ranged character, so he attacks by attacking, or attacks by shooting. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take uh, Gon and give him all these red guys because these are the physical robots which are going to give him more boost. And basically I'm going to train him. Just like this. It's pretty simple. Like I said, if you play Dokkan Battle, you should get the gist of this game. Only thing that sucks is we can't really see special powers because uh, we can't read like special effects like leader effects for example. Because it's hard to see or hard to understand what it is if you don't speak Japanese. There we go. We had a good experience. Oh, my nose is itchy. Uh, and we leveled up. Hey! Let's skip that. And now my character is level 23 out of level 30. So this is like a, a rare character. 
Uh, I did pull a super rare character, which was, or super, super rare, uh, which is Silva, which I got like the second I got this game and I was really excited about it. So before I end this video, I am going to do a drawing as well because I have seven cards and you need five to do a single summon. So what we're going to do is just, we'll do, let's do a regular friend summon first. Let's go here. And just like, again, uh, as you play, you get friend points, which you can then use for summons as well. So let's go ahead and summon um, a friend character first. And I like this watch as much as swipe. Wait, swipe. Come on, swipe. There we go. I like how with them is you have to swipe as opposed to uh, summoning with, uh, you know, with Kamehameha and pulling with uh, Goku. What we get, oh, was that a rare pull? I can't tell. Let's find out. We got, oh, we got, a, we got, a, wow, a five-star card. I think I have no idea what this is. I'm going to have to look it up, but that's kind of cool. All right. Those little robots, I like the little uh, chocolate things that uh, Kilua would get in the show. That's cool. All right, so right here we have actually two sets of summons. We have, uh, looks like the good guys from uh, the Chimera Inn arc and the bad guys. Uh, ooh, that's actually uh, Hisoka, but I saw a uh, king there. So let's actually do this one. Let's do the the bad guys pull real fast. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully we'll get something good. Fingers crossed. Watch me get meta him. The king. Let me get the king. Here we go. We're going to get swipe. Swipe my no swiping. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Um. Ooh, rare pull. We got a rare pull. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. What is it? What is it? I got this. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure this is a more rare version of Silva than the one I got. But my first card I pulled was Silva. Oh my gosh, four star uh, uh, hunter. I think six star is the best you can get in this game. But let's actually go back to make sure I got the. That is the same one. That's funny. That's really funny. Shout out to Toasty. Toasty pulled Jing uh, in his first single, uh, rare summon, I guess. Look at that. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go back. Go back. Why, why can't I go back? There we go. All right, let me make sure that's, not, that, that's a different one. Because I'm pretty confident it's the same one. Um, oh, let's go down to the list. I think this is the list right here. Yeah, that's the same one. It's the exact same one. Look at that. Uh, 510. I can't tell if that's the same one. Is it the same one? Let's see. Yeah, it's the same one. That sucks. I also got a couple guys from, uh, well, I got the one guy, the, the remote control guy from uh, Shanlark, I think that's his name, from the troop, uh, which is this guy right here. Which was more rare. It was, I think it's a super rare pull. But that's funny. I got two super, super rare, uh, whatchamacallits, um, Silvas, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's cool that I got super, super rare, but at the same time, I want something better. I wanted the king, or maybe Hisoka or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so again, if you think this game will be worth coming out in the US or the rest of the world, just like Dokkan Battle, comment below, send me some feedback, uh, so I can just basically take this video and send it to uh, Bandai and be like, hey, yo, make this happen. There's, there's people that want this. Uh, if not, then I guess don't leave a comment or say why. I don't know. But uh, I highly recommend you guys to check out all the other games out there. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul is, is one if you guys are fans of that, uh, which I think Funimation is going to bring over. Uh, there's a fairy tale one coming out as well because I know there's a lot of fairy tale fans out there, but uh, I think that comes out later this year. I'm not really sure. Um, but Hunter Hunter, like I said, it's a lot of fun. I love the music. The music is great. I might actually get the OST for the, for this game and use it in future videos. Uh, but outside of that, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah. Anyway, so if you want to see some more content from Hunter Hunter Battle All Stars, let me know as well. Leave a like and below as well, and I shall make it happen. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. My name is Ramsal, and I will see you all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.